I am going to teach you how to draw. I am going to teach you exactly how to draw a tomahawker. Now first, you want to start with a simple, first you want to start with a simple line. Like that. And then you want to connect those lines. Now, your line may be a little bit skinny on the top, but that's okay. Because this is just the beginning. Next, we're going to draw a sniper rifle. We start with the handle thing. And then, we do the bottom part, of course. And then we do the body. Now you have this figure. Then you do this figure, this part of the figure. And then you make a really long line. Go, go up a little bit and then go over like that. Complete with the, the bullet hole. And then up some more. And then you go all the way across on this side. Now, now there's a spot for the trigger right here. And this is the trigger. And then we need the aim hole because you got to be able to take aim so you don't shoot someone you didn't mean to shoot. And then we've got the bottom of the gun. Now we have a mini sniper rifle. A short one, but surely. Finish with that. And then we go down here and we and we draw. And we draw. Do it simply like this. Thank you. And then we input the those. And then that. Now on Starcraft, they actually had these kinds of torpedoes. On the on the chapter Into Darkness, they actually have these kinds. And I'd like, and before we go any further, I'd like to thank my assistant Keegan for kindly holding the paper for me. And then you want to get a nice, a couple nice circles here. And then a spot to put the body, to put dead bodies in. And then the thumb thing. Now, over here, we're going to make a grenade. Start with a simple paperclip shape like this. And then garnish that part down. Circle, circle, circle. And then a smaller circle up there. Now this area here is where you light the grenade from. I'm not sure what these circles are for on the grenade. Uh, I think it's to let the enemies know that it's coming. Now, definitely wrong, but good try. Now we're drawing a dynamite, and then the string, and the top part is where you light it at. And then T, N, T. 
That stands for dynamite. And then down here, at the bottom, we are going to draw a Mickey Mouse figure. Start with a circle, bigger circle, smaller circle again. And if you want, you can color this black, but you don't have to. Just throwing it out there that you can that color it black. black. And you can color those black, but it's optional. It's your drawing. Whenever, whenever you try it, it's your drawing and you don't have to. Now we're going to draw a chainsaw. We're going to start with this, with the pool box, and then the handle that you hold it with, and then the string that you pull the, pull the motor. No, it's not. Then the chainsaw motor thing so the heat can come out through there. Then the back of the chain. And then the front end of the chain. And that's just the saw part. This is the chain that I'm drawing over it. Now we're going to draw a machete, which is almost as long. We're going to do this, because that's the way to start the machete. I thought there was an um, end in it, like halfway to the top, like right here. No. I don't know what you're talking about, dude, but... And now, down here... I'm not sure what we're going to draw down here, so save this area down here for later. And then up here... Right in, right in this area, up here, we're going to draw one of those old, old pocket watches. And then... Where you, where you hook it up to something, the adjuster, and the chain, because sometimes they have a chain. What is that? And those alarm clock legs. Why do we need a clock? And then a here, we're going to write, I can draw. My handwriting is usually neater than this, but I'm, we're writing kind of big and I'm holding a tablet in my hand while I do this, so it's kind of, kind of hard to write. Now, we come to this side and we draw a boomerang. Start with a, with a sideways V, like so. Go all the way up and down, there. And if you want, you can draw lines on it like this. This way they know where they can hold it. Now the, now the downside about these, about the boomerangs, between the boomerangs and the tomahawkers is that with a tomahawker you have to go get it when you throw it, but with a boomerang, it comes back to you. But you might want to duck. No, you might want to catch it. And then here, down, now we get down to business here. We're going to draw a time bomb here. Start off with an O, or a circle, or a zero. And you put, put, an, put a Christmas ornament thing here. And then, that area there is where you light it from. And then you put the picture, and then you put a little clock on it that tells how long you have before it goes off. Now this, now this sign down here, like tic-tac-toe, is optional. Now we get down to business down here, and we draw a mega ornament. 
which is what I'm calling those things that people use in their backpacks to unlock your car but they can't take off in it and it's electronical and it glows in their backpack that's what they use probably people don't know it though people think it's something else it is something or and then down here we do a recrest sign. Now down here we can do a small a small one of those little fake tornado drawings. The debris cloud. I'm not much of a hand at drawing on the bottom of the page, so it may look a little weird. And then over here we can do a ghostly figure, but instead of ending it like that, we can do a duct tape, a scotch tape roll. And then a little point. Uh, uh, and then the fake writing symbol for the for the brand. And then over here we're going to do a toilet paper roll. You always, you know, some people always want to toilet paper your house, but all they, but what they don't realize is that it's just a roll of toilet paper used for wiping your, used for wiping your butt when you go to the bathroom. Now up here we can do a squiggly line over here in between the torpedo and the grenade we're going to do something called a butcher knife you know some some of you i know some of you viewers out there have seen the seen halloween and nightmare down the street but michael myers has a butcher knife and then a dagger I know the blade might be a little crooked but usually it goes down like that not to the side and then up here we're going to do a stick of gum looks a little creepy don't you think guess what that it's like one of the cartoon characters sword being bent. That it does. And that then it looks like a plate of spaghetti. And then down here. Down here we're going to do a pair of glasses. One of those really wide pairs for those really fat people, which isn't funny, by the way. <coughs> and by the way, that and that are not fake writing. You know how sometimes on those fake windows that people draw, they sometimes do, they sometimes do that on them? Uh -huh. to make them look like glass. Well, that's what I just did.